The Mount Cashel Orphanage for Boys in St. John's was demolished in 1992, and the fight to compensate those abused there was just beginning. It triggers for them some of the worst experience of their lives. Now, survivors know just how much they'll receive. An insolvency process has determined the bankrupt Roman Catholic Episcopal Corporation of St. John's should pay out $104 million for 292 claims. Some of those claims from survivors who have since died, many abused at Mount Cashel. But others were, uh, were altar boys or parishioners or were students in uh, Catholic schools. And as well, of course, I say men, there were, uh, there were some women who were survivors of abuse at the hands of priests or in, in, in their school system. Legal claims against the church for the abuse date back 25 years, all eventually forcing the Episcopal Corporation to file for bankruptcy in 2021 and start selling off assets, including churches. But it's still short, raising only about $43 million so far. In a statement to Global News, the Archbishop of St. John's says the church, quote, will continue to liquidate property for the benefit of the claimants. Any amount outstanding could come from elsewhere. So the governor of Newfoundland and Labrador is uh, another potential defendant, as are uh, other religious entities. It's damaged the standing of the Catholic Church in the world. One theologian says the church now has processes to prevent and swiftly deal with any abuse, but is concerned about lingering attitudes at the very top with Pope Francis. He is, in, in a couple of very high-profile cases, he is fixated on a notion of due process, which seems to be like a return to the bad old days. After so many years, there's hope this lingering and dark chapter in Newfoundland and Labrador may soon close. Compensation payments could start this fall. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.